Yeah, well, I thought it was excellent, and um, uh, we wanted a reaction from from last week. Um, we didn't shy away from the fact that we knew it was a big game today, uh, because um, because of last week and because of the opposition, where the opposition are. Um, so we knew it was a, a, a big game, and um, I thought we were excellent from from start to finish. In fact, so you quite enjoyed that second goal. Uh, I think everybody will enjoy that, and um, it. it, it, it couldn't happen to a nicer fella and, and um, a good enough individual and, and professional and uh, I think that's why you probably saw the response from everybody you know, it's not, Alex is not going to score too many goals uh, like that so um, I think when you, when you are a player and you score that type of goal and of course you know it's going to be shown time and time again it's, it's, a, it's a really nice feeling and um, the lads are delighted for him. Chris do you think that's one of your best performances of the season so far? Um, I think so, yes. I think um, maybe because of the, the, the time of the season. And what, we, what we're able to do, we've had, we've had good performances. I can remember um, Manchester United here, for, certainly for 45 minutes, where I thought we were, were excellent. Cardiff, how we didn't win that game here. So I think we've, we've had um, uh, better performances, but um, you've got to get the goals at the right time and I uh, thought in a first half period where I thought we were good um, we also got the goals at that time. Was it just as important in the second half not chasing goals to, to close it out the way you did? Yes, yeah. And um, we, you, you know that uh, they've got to change things, they put the extra player up front, the, uh, they get one goal, it gives them a lift and then you, you're hoping that you don't become a little bit nervous and, and so, so um, you know we've been good here at Carrow this certainly this year, and we haven't conceded many goals. And uh, I think that's what, that, that's equally as important that uh, that we didn't concede. Um, but but I thought the level of performance even in the second half was good. Could have had more goals, um, but it was important that uh, we didn't concede as well. You've seen the results elsewhere. They've all, all, all gone for you today, round the bottom. It's, yeah, it's, it's been a good day for us. Um, um, but. More important than, than perhaps them is, is is it's been a good day for us here because because uh, ultimately the the results in in from now till the end of the season will will determine where we are and we have to make sure that our results are are good enough. But the seven point gap to Sunderland though is a pretty decent cushion at this stage of the season. It's you know nice to have. Mm. Um, it, 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 it's important. It's important to to have as big a gap from from where we are to the bottom three as as possible. Um, but uh, on a weekend last weekend where where we lost and other results didn't go for us, um, today they did. Um, you know, no, nobody can predict what the results will be uh, next week. So we just have to continue to try and get the points that we need to to make sure we stay clear of it. Chris, do you buy into the fact that 40 points is the magic number? Or? Um, no, no. But, um, you know, I think I think on averages is it. Um, you know, that can be the case on 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 averages. But but uh, at this moment, I don't think there's anybody that knows um, what that number will be. And and I don't I don't think too much about what it will be. Um, just think about trying it's a good day today because we've got three points and the three very valuable points and we need to make sure that we get more